Snipe Squad, what is going on? It is Sniper Jones back with another video. Today, I will be reviewing the Yeezy 350 Butter. This shoe dropped yesterday, which was Saturday, June 30th, man. The release was not limited at all, at least not here in Atlanta. I heard a lot of people had trouble getting this shoe on Adidas.com. Me personally, I hit for a pair of Foot Locker at my local mall. I didn't try online, but everybody in my comments from yesterday's video, if you haven't seen my pickup vlog, I will go ahead and drop that link right above me. Go ahead and click that, because that was fire. But a lot of people was telling me that Adidas.com was going crazy. And that's how it is usually online, man. You got so many bots, you got so many people trying to get a shoe at one time. Sites usually crash and it be super wild. So let me know down below if you got your pair because a lot of people did and a lot of people didn't, which was crazy. I felt like the people who did get a pair hit for like four or five and some people just didn't hit none at all. Me personally, I hit on a waitlisted pair. If you don't know what waitlisted is, basically when you're on the app, you go for the shoe. If you don't get it in time, but you was like real close, they a waitlist you, which means if somebody doesn't pick up their pairs, after like the little hour goes by, you can get the pair that they left over. So with that being said, man, I was super excited when I was able to get these. I picked them up. Like I said, the pickup vlog was dope. And now we're just going to break down this shoe a little bit, bruh, and show y'all some things that I thought was pretty dope and some things that I didn't like at all about the shoe. So without further ado, let's get into it. Ah, here we are, man. The Yeezy V2 Butter, man. Let me know how y'all feel about these, bro, because I see a lot of mixed reviews. I even post these on my Instagram. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, it is right there in your lower left-hand corner. Give me a follow. You know what I'm saying? I chop it up with all my followers, and it's always show love to who show love to me. But like I said, I posted a pic of these, and I got a lot of mixed reviews about this shoe. Even though nobody care about the box, I got to start off with the box. I'm going to just run through it. Regular 350 box. You know what I'm saying? Size 12, you already know, size 12 game. We in the building, bro. Don't let nobody lie to you. Big feet, we we got this, bro. We got this. But now for the sneaker, though. Like, for the actual shoe. This shoe, I can understand why I got so many mixed reviews because I even have mixed feelings about it. It's like one day I look at them and I'm like, all right, boy. And then I look at them again like, damn, man, he's, he's kind of ass. Honestly, if, if you look at the shoe, off the back, it's definitely not one of my favorite V2 colorways. If, if you ask me, it's at the bottom, right with the cream. Just because it's a plain colorway, not really too much going on, and it's not really too much you can actually do with this shoe. With all the other colorways you got with the Easy V2, whether it be the green stripe, whether it be the white stripe, whether it be the solars, whether it be the bridge, it's just so many other options that you will have, or Beluga, even Beluga 2.0, blue tints. This this just don't cut the list for me. It'd probably definitely be at the bottom. We can start from the sole, which is like a darker tan sole that's going up the entire sole of the sneaker. And of course, you see the boost, and boost, they say it's dying as well. I love my boots. You know what I'm saying? Boots feel amazing. The most comfortable shoe I have in my collection are my Ultra Boots. And Yeezys are in a strong second place. They always feel great. They always feel good. So the boost material on here is great as always. Coming up on the midsole of the Yeezy, which is a different colorway than the bottom sole. You know what I'm saying? The bottom sole has that dark tan colorway. The midsole has more of the butter colorway that you get throughout the entire sneaker. And, and of course, it has that design going all the way around. The ridges look like bumper cars or something like that, man. Just the ridges going around the entire sneaker, the entire sole of the shoe. Moving up on your uppers, you get that same tight prime knit all the way across the entire upper of the shoe. Moving into the middle of the shoe where you see that thick sewing of both sides stitched together up the entire, from the from basically the toe cap all the way up to the top of the tongue, bro. That's where you see that tight knit or the prom knit, and that's always been pretty dope to me because you can actually see where they stitch it together. Yeezys actually look like they only take like 12 bucks to make, but they be a resold for 220. So Adidas is definitely making huge profit over here. And uh, be, to be honest, bro, they probably don't even take $12. You look at this shoe closely, right there on the side of the sneaker, you can kind of see where the Supply 350 is. It's actually on the shoe. The Supply 350 is on the shoe, but due to the colorway and the colorway of the spell of Supply 350, you really can't see it as clear as you can. But if you do have your pair, you can see the stripe going across the entire side of the upper, and you can see see where that supply 350 goes. What makes this shoe pop is the laces. The laces is like a, is a more 
lighter, vault yellow kind of butter colorway, and I think that makes the shoe pop, and I think that it needed that. Imagine if this shoe had the same lace colorway as the entire upper. This shoe would be very boring, very dead, and I don't think a lot of people would like this shoe, along with the back tab, because it's the same colorway as the laces. So I think they did a great job with throwing some contrast on the sneaker with the laces, making them pop a little bit more, and actually throwing the back tab on there the same colorway as the laces, because you got to have some type of diversity bro if not this shoe would have been trash that pretty much sums it up because it's not really too much to talk about when it comes down to these now what i do want to kind of talk about is the high points and the low points of this shoe because it got a lot honestly i'm gonna start off with the low points the low points is this shoe will be hard to rock if you're just not like a sauce guy if you're not one of them guys that's really into fashion if you're not one of those guys that's really like really on your fashion tip this is kind of gonna be hard to rock me personally i got way more shoes than clothes i actually need to stop buying shoes and buy some more clothes because <laughs> some of these clothes i can't even wear because i don't have enough to match up with the shoes the high point is it is a summer shoe in my opinion i think this colorway is definitely a summer shoe so i was happy when i figured out it was dropping in june because it's definitely a summer colorway you can throw these on with some shorts some no shows you know what i'm saying and they would definitely look good but now it's time for me to throw these on feet show y'all how they would look me personally i'm gonna go with the summertime Vibe. I'm throwing some shorts, some nice socks or whatever, and just show y'all how I will be rocking these this summer because, like I said, there's not really too many ways you can go about this. Y'all ready? Bet. Let's do it. Gay. Talking to my son to that a really nigga hood. Had to see my people down and that's the only thing I feel. I've been looking for the truth. Should've been looking in the mirror. To my white girl I'm cut and she think that I'm just weird. I ain't never get no love. So I find that shit weird and I got a taste of love and it always taste like beer. Always put me on my rear while well, I think the devil here and he's standing on my shoulders trying to whisper in my ear. Alright guys, that is it for this video, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it on foot. I know my legs kind of hairy, so don't even gas me in the comments. Let me know how you guys feel about these Yeezy V2s, man. Honestly, they do look way better on foot. I just watched the replay from my own foot, and I, I'm like, dang, these, these actually don't look bad on feet. So, that was pretty dope. And before we get out of here, I want to talk about comfort on these things, man. Y'all know that Yeezys are very, very tight fit, so I advise everybody to go a half size up. Uh, I wear 11 and a half, 12. In this shoe, I would have liked to get a 12 and a half. Yeezys, I would like to get a 12 and a half, but 12 and a half is almost the hardest size to get, period, in this shoe. Like, 12 and a half is always the hardest size to get in the Yeezy. But y'all out there, if you can get your half size up, then definitely get your half size up because it do run kind of tight. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. We are chasing that 10 Hey, I need that 10k before the year's over. I'm grinding, trying to put out daily content. I'm making daily content that's fire at the end of the day. Subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Share the channel with your friends, your cousins. Anybody who loves sneakers and like to laugh, man, please share the channel. I appreciate it. And last but not least, man, huge shout out to Rejuvenator, man. They are supporting the channel. So make sure you go on Rejuvenator.com. Anything you buy will be discounted by 10% if you use my discount code, Sniper Jones. A lot of people say the discount code wasn't working. I hit them up. They said it's definitely working. Make sure y'all spell it right. It's just one word. The Owen Jones is a zero, like everything, social media, YouTube. Sniper Jones is that discount code. You get 10% off anything you buy on the website. And look, check this out. If you buy anything on the website with my discount code, screenshot it, send it to me, whether it be Twitter, Instagram, DM, I reply to all of them anyway, I will shout you out my next video, bro. I will shout out your Instagram or whatever you sent it to me. I will shout you out and support you for supporting me. With that being said, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. Make sure you leave a like and comment. And until next time, gang, gang. They gonna love me for my ambition. 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 Ambition.